My name is Frank Robert. I'm a CEO and co-founder of The Pal Dream. I'm originally from Kenya, where I was until uh, end of high school, and I went to, uh, then I went to college in the States. Uh, we connect storytellers to the global audience. Uh, we think of um, a grandma who has great stories, and they want to share them with their kids who might be in school, and the only time they get to do it is when they're on holiday. But now, you can, everybody can access the stories. My co-founder and I met in college, and um, he's from Uganda. And one day he calls me and tells me um, these folk tales that are just belong to our tribes. How cool it would it be if we could share them with people? Because we always uh, try to tell people how it was like in Kenya, and we couldn't really tell it in an effective way because you can't really talk about culture in in one conversation. So we thought uh, maybe this is a technology, we can put them on apps, we can animate them. It might be a good way to, to share our culture. So some of the low times were, well, we've bootstrapped all the way here. We, This is the first time we were raising around and um, being that we were bootstrapping, we had to keep our full-time jobs because without that we couldn't feed ourselves, but, uh, let alone run the company. So. There's always challenges with, with finance when you have a couple bills and then you're trying to make the decision of whether you should fund the next animation or, or you know, uh, do those Facebook ads versus, you know, paying for your rent or, or things like that. Just do it. <laughs> um, the, you, hope, you never know really whether you have a, a good idea or not. The best way to do it is to test it. And, and guess what? You can always change the idea as you learn. And I think that's the biggest part that I've, I've, I've learned, that uh, there's so much more that you can learn. Uh, usually you think you have the idea and you think that that will be it. That will be the Facebook of the world. But then you realize that um, even those companies, they had to change a lot of things before it became the Facebook of the world. We want, we want to be Disney for Africa. We want, when you think of stories and a world filled with this experience of culture and people connecting and saying, you know what, that's, that's who I am and that's part of my culture. And, and also not, not seeing where you are now, but seeing how the culture grew from the tradition. You know, uh, our generation, maybe five generations from now, we'll see oh, this is how my grandparents live and that's how they walk down life and, and this is why we are here. Mm -hmm.